Southwest 4th and Taylor in downtown Portland. This 7-Eleven here is a popular spot for many. I come in here about mm, quarter to seven in the morning. Almost every day? Almost every day. This guy did not want to share his name, but says just about every time he stops by the convenience store, he's greeted by a crowd of homeless people outside. Some of them are sleeping, some of them are just smoking cigarettes, and some of them are smoking other things. No smoking on this day, not even a bunch of people. Maybe it was the chill in the air, but more than likely, it was this. Hear that high-pitched squealing sound? People on the street sure do. Just, it kind of makes my jaw hurt, and it's just a, really a high-pitched sound that is really annoying. The piercing sound appears to be coming from that box mounted above the 7-Eleven sign. It's unclear how long the sound's been playing, but the idea is to clear out the homeless. There's frequencies that could, that could damage people, like hurt people. While he does not agree with the tactic, Others have mixed feelings. It just feels offensive slightly because you just don't think you should treat people like insects. But, you know, got, something's got to be done. The owners of the building where 7-Eleven is located agree. Standard Insurance Company released this statement. It reads, our goal is to protect the safety of our employees, tenants and guests in a location that has been consistently plagued by public drug use and menacing behavior. The sound is a safe tool to help address the problems that have persisted at this location. Yeah, it's worth mentioning that off camera I did speak to a man who was loitering outside the store. He says he heard the sound, but it just did not bother him. If you'd like to weigh in on this debate, you can do so on Twitter or on my Facebook page. For now, back to you. It's an old problem, but I don't know if I've ever seen this new tactic used before. It's, it's very in, Yeah, it's interesting to see what people are going to think about it, too. A lot of people talking about it on Facebook, and you can weigh in right here, too. You still have time to let us know what you think. Just go to kgw.com vote or click the Vote Now tab on your KGW app to weigh in.